This circuit that you see has the capability of absorbing energy from its surroundings and that energy is available in the form of radio frequency signals from cellular towers, Wi-Fi signals and all and then convert that energy to electricity and then storing that electricity in these capacitors, the orange ones that you see. And this is 100% correct and I'm going to practically show you everything in this video. Here you can see that I've pointed the multimeter at DC voltage measurement mode and it is at zero. Now I'm going to connect this circuit to my meter pinouts. Red is positive and black negative. You can see that the voltage is increasing little by little and there is no power source given. It is still rising. How is that? This is because this point that you see is acting as an antenna which is absorbing radio frequency from the surroundings and converting it to electricity and thus storing the charge in these two capacitors in the form of DC voltage. Right now you can see that uh, the charging is only in millivolts which is very less. We have charged it to 12 millivolts. Now we need a bigger antenna. Now, now, my body is also a conductor so it is also going to act as an antenna so let's touch it and here you can see that now the voltage is rising rapidly we have crossed 160 volts dc because the antenna is getting a bigger surface area and this also depends on uh, the number of cellular towers and how close they are to uh, this device so here you can see that we have uh, achieved around 400 millivolts let's see the max to what it gets So here we have reached 0.6 volts and it is still rising. Seems like one volt is quite close now. And you can also imagine the voltage that is being lost uh, across the, these diodes, the number of diodes that are connected in series. But these diodes are necessary for converting the AC signals to DC. Now the charging process has reduced quite low. I had hoped that it would at least go to oh, one volts. And uh, as you can see that it is uh, maxing out at 889 volts DC. Yeah, 900. Now it has again started to rise quite rapidly. And finally, we have crossed 1 volts and it is still increasing. Now I'm going to remove my hand and you should see the voltage. And here you can see that the voltage is falling really fast as I disconnected my fingers. And once again, if I'm going to connect it, it is going to start rising. Now, this is my camera stand. And at the bottom you can see some cardboard that is for isolating the tripod from ground and this uh, tripod is going to act as an antenna and uh, here you can see this wire on one end I have this clip and the other end is bare nothing so this clip end will be connected to the tripod as an antenna and the bare end will be connected to the circuit now the meter is showing zero volts DC and here I'm going to connect the antenna wire. Yeah, but uh, let's first connect these wires. You can see it is showing 53 millivolts. So let's discharge it first. And as soon as I'm going to remove the wire, it is going to start energizing and charging once again from zero. Wire is disconnected and uh, the capacitors have already started charging 10.8 and increasing. Now let's finally connect the antenna wire. And now there will be a quick increase. Go. So as you can see here that there is a rapid increase in the charging voltage. Let's see the max that we can achieve here. Now, I'm not sure that when I'm touching the wires, the voltage is increasing a lot further. No idea how that is happening, but uh, it is uh, intriguing. The voltage has increased 1.7 volts and uh, it is charging really fast. Whoa, we are closing at 2 volts. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. And I'm removing my fingers and here you can see that uh, the voltage is uh, like reducing. Like initially, I thought that there was uh, this wire that was loose, but uh, I think that something is happening when I'm touching it with my fingers. Let's see the maximum that we can do here. So very close to 2.5 volts. Whoa, 3.5. Once I remove my fingers, it is discharging. Something is happening with my fingers. See, weird. 
oh now i get it my body is connected to the ground and when i'm touching this wire so we are getting an ac signal from here and here it is a uh, ground so it is charging the capacitor really fast and it is getting this polarity which means that it is better when you are going to use this kind of circuit uh, you will need some ground seems like we are stabilizing at around 4.5 volts so here i'm going to do this little experiment i have connected this small buzzer as you can see and uh, the circuit and the voltage here you can see is 460 millivolts so one thing that we can notice is that without the ground wire uh, the capacitors are not charging quite well so here i'm going to connect my body once again same as before and you can see the increase the drastic in increase we have reached uh, 1.8 volts and uh, once i'm going to connect uh, this wire which is the positive to the positive then we should hear the buzzing sound and for that i'm going to bring the mic closer to the buzzer here it is and this time it is going a little higher yeah 4.5 still and i think it should be more close because i don't believe the voltage is going to be much higher and go yeah see the drop in voltage and if i keep it connected nothing and once i disconnect you can see that the voltage has started rising once again and once again if i connect it let's wait and let it charge to the max yeah i think this is it and go the voltage has dropped to 0.4 volts next here as you can see that i have connected this small led it is green in color and uh, i'm going to charge it once again with my body being the ground and let's test uh, the led yeah i think that's enough and i'm going to touch this clip to this one and go <laughs> it was a blink i'm going to do it once again for you people just in case if you didn't see it and this time after seeing this you should also notice the drop in voltage of the meter go see dropped to 1.945 volts and now the led is not glowing at all it is two volts so it should be glowing the voltage is not going oh there is this little brightness so this time i'm not going to disconnect the wires of the led and simply going to touch my hand oh i believe you people must be seeing this a little glow from the led is what we are getting here it is lighting up but it is very dim let's touch it from this point it should work same yeah how about this one same so as you saw that this circuit produced a voltage of around 4.5 volts which was pretty good so many of you might be thinking that wow 4.5 volts so we can charge our cell phones because they also charge at that voltage value but no uh, you cannot run many things with this because uh, the overall current that is produced through this circuit is very low now coming back to the part because of which i actually made this video this circuit and everything which is maxwell chikambutso many of you might have heard his name because he has claimed that uh, he has made a device that can capture uh, energy from the radio frequency waves and convert it to usable electricity that can power up like many houses uh, the claim is somewhere around half a megawatt and uh, as far as i have researched and i don't believe it to be true because the setup that is going to be required to achieve that is going to be totally impractical and this much big circuit is producing less than a watt so like in milliwatts so you can imagine that uh, how difficult it is to even imagine if something like that is going to be actually possible Another of his claim is that he has built an electric car that needs no charging and can run infinitely just on radio frequency waves. Now, 
that is again not possible because where is the ground and uh, without that I don't believe we can get much power and still the setup is going to be a lot more than uh, the size of the car and still it will also depend upon the type of towers like if uh, there are broadcast channel towers that are available around this kind of big uh, source then only we can get power in watts so an impractical circuit with not much use but yes you don't have to pay for the electricity to get power out from it so i'm calling it a free energy source although it is not completely free because again it is uh, converting radio frequency waves to electrical energy so yeah that's it with the video and uh, i don't believe what uh, the claims are for the maxwell chicken with souls uh, inventions uh, the patents were not allowed because they were based on perpetual motion type of projects so they were denied and his house as i have researched is still running on the local electricity and he has to pay bills so that's all bye bye